Hi, welcome back to Forbes Games. I'm Eric Kane, and as you know, I've been talking about Wordle a lot lately. Everybody's been talking about Wordle. It's the viral word puzzle game uh, created by Josh Wordle for his wife as a pandemic gift. Apparently, she likes word puzzles, like the crossword puzzle, and so he made this fun little game and released it back in October of 2021. By January of 2022, it had millions of players and the New York Times actually purchased it for a low seven-figure sum. So that is a great American success story right there. Uh, but today I wanted to talk a little bit about other games you can play if, you know, one word a day that Wordle gives you is not enough, or if you're just like rediscovering your love for, love for puzzle games. Um, I have three categories that I'm going to talk about. Wordle spinoffs, so games created over the past few months that are just direct sort of copycats, but in, in a fun way, not in a like, trying to make a bunch of money way, uh, as well as fun games at the New York Times. Since Wordle is headed to the New York Times, I thought I'd take a look at some of the other games they offer and talk about those a little bit. And finally, classics, board games, games you play in the real world rather than on your phone or computer. Uh, so I have a list and I'll just go through it. Um, We'll start with Wordle spinoffs, and I just picked a few. There are so many. It is, I, could, I could do a whole video just on Wordle spinoffs, but I didn't want to only do that. So uh, the first one is Wordle Unlimited. Uh, and you can look these up, or uh, I will have a link to my Forbes article where I link to all of these um, in the description. Uh, so Wordle Unlimited is just Wordle. It's the exact same game, except for that you can play it as many times as you want. So if you just want to practice your Wordle skills uh, and just, you know, play a couple hundred times a day or whatever floats your boat, Wordle Unlimited is for you. Uh, there's a couple different games. Uh, one is Word Rodeo and one is My Wordle. Uh, link to both of those. These, these games just basically let you create the word that needs to be guessed. So you come up with a word and you can send the link to your friends, to your family, to your enemies, whatever you want to do, and they have to guess the word. Again, six guesses, but you get to create it. So it adds a sort of competitive multiplayer aspect to the game. Um, Nerdle. Nerdle is Wordle, but for nerds. Uh, so <laughs> so it's with numbers, I guess, uh, is the only real difference here. I guess you can be a nerd and play Wordle also. But Nerdle is a numbers version of Wordle, and you solve for the numbers. Um, La Palabra. If you haven't guessed it yet, this is that, 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 that translates to the word in Spanish, and this is a... Spanish language version of Wordle, La Palabra. So that's fun. I'm sure there are many other languages that have done the same thing, but Spanish being an important language here in the United States, I thought I'd pick that one. And finally, this one is the one I've had uh, quite a bit of fun with, actually. And by fun, I mean I hate it. Uh, it's Dordle. Uh, Dordle is a, it's, it's just Wordle, but there's two words. And these words sit side by side. And you have one, and you still have six guesses total. So you have to solve two words two five-letter words at the same time with the same guesses. So I actually got this. Um, I, my first guess was click, and I ended up getting I-C-K right on the right-hand word, uh, but only an L in the wrong spot on the left-hand word. So I tried to guess for the I-C-K, and it took me four total guesses to get quick. And I had almost no letters still for the left-hand word, but in the next couple guesses, I did manage to, to eke out feral as the correct word there the first time I played this. So that's stressful. I was stressed out by Dordle, but if you want an extra challenge, this is more than twice as hard as Wordle uh, because you just have so many fewer chances and your, your brain gets all wrapped up in this. Um, moving on to the New York Times, where Wordle will soon be located maybe behind a paywall, maybe not. Um, I played a few of these games. There's obviously the crossword puzzle if you want to really get into you know a, a challenge every day. Um, but there's also the crossword mini. That's fun because instead of spending like a couple hours on this game, you just spend a few minutes and it's just a much, much smaller, simpler version of the crossword puzzle. Uh, a little more unique is spelling bee. It's spelled with two E's, spelling B like a like a bzz, like a B. Um, this gives you like a honeycomb of letters. Uh, and inside there's a letter, the, the middle letter of that honeycomb has to be used in every word you come up with. So you take these letters and you try to create words out of them. Uh, and it's really, really, really challenging actually, because you have to use that central letter. And then there's just never, it never seems like there's quite enough letters to make the words you want to make. Um, and you can come up with some pretty clever ones, but even... I've played this game a few times now, and, and I've come up with lots of words, 
and still never finished out the entire puzzle. So this is extremely challenging. Uh, they do offer hints, and of course, you can find the answers. But if you really, really want to challenge, this is a good one. Um, then there's a, uh, the letterbox. Letterboxed. Uh, this has a square with three letters on each side, and you have to draw a line between letters to create words. So as you draw this line, you form you form the word, and then the next word has to start wherever you ended up. So if there's like an X, don't make a word that ends with X because it's really hard to start one with that letter. Um, you try to use all the letters up in six words or le or, or fewer words, six or fewer words. Um, this is not as challenging as spelling bee, but it does really definitely get uh, the puzzle brain going. Um, all right, so moving on from the New York Times, um, I, I, I have a category of board games and classics, right? So the game that, m that most resembles Wordle is not a word game at all. It's called Mastermind. And I don't know if you've played it, but basically you have colored pegs and one player sets up this, this row of four colored pegs behind a, a screen so that the other player can't see which colors they are in which spots. The other player then puts colored pegs down in a row of guesses, very similar to Wordle. Uh, and the, the first player will indicate whether these are in the right spot or the wrong spot or just not the right peg at all by placing little black and white smaller pegs on the left. And these black, black and white indicate right spot, right color, or right spot, wrong color. But it doesn't say which one, so it's actually very difficult. It's more difficult than Wordle, and it's competitive, so that's fun. Um, but it doesn't use words. Uh, if you haven't played Bananagrams, this is a fun. This is a fun game. It's like Scrabble, except for with Scrabble you play all on one board, and everybody's words kind of build off of each other. Bananagrams, everyone gets their own board essentially, and you play in real time, and it's very fast paced. So instead of kind of taking turns, everyone's all playing at once. And um, I won't go into all the rules, but basically you're constantly reshaping your words, changing your words, trying to use up your letters. As new letters come in, you have to reassess. So it's 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 very fast. It's very intense. It's like Scrabble, but like comp more competitive, more fast paced and more exciting. It's very fun. And you can play with lots of different numbers of players, which is great. Um, Scattergories is another classic. This is one where you, you're given a category and you're given a first letter of a word and you try to come up with as many words in that category that start with that letter as possible. And you can play in teams, you can play 1v1v1v1, 1v1, 1v1, 1v1. you can play by yourself if you really wanted to just test your own vocabulary. Uh, and I'll wrap things up with another classic, Boggle. Um, I, I, I left out mobile games on purpose because I can't stand how, how monetized they are. I can't stand all the ads and pop-ups. I can't stand the, the, the gems and the coins they try to get you to buy. It just it turns me off immediately. So even popular games like Wordscapes, I left off this list. But Boggle kind of fits the bill for a game like Wordscapes, where you're given a, a random board of letters, essentially, and you have to make let you have to make words out of adjacent letters. They don't have to be like in rows, they can be just like a square of letters. But you have to do this in real time and it's competitive. Um, so it's similar if you've played Wordscapes, there's some similarities to that game. But it's a board game that you play with people in the real world and there are no ads popping up in your face and there's nothing, you know, bogging it down. Uh, I just came up with that pun and I apologize for it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Good luck, Wordlers, and have fun with these puzzles. Peace.